Hello, hello. Back to a beautiful video. This is going to be 3 Buckingham Place in Rockledge, Florida. As you can see, I'm going to show you a little bit of the neighborhood. It is in like a small cul-de-sac. Okay. So you have a little bit of a large lot, lot because of it being on a cul-de-sac. Right out there is going towards um, 95. 95 is probably approximately three minutes, three to four minutes from the home. You have a school in close proximity. Actually, two schools in close proximity. You have um, a park just right outside of here, beautiful park. Uh, Vieira is about five minutes, five to eight minutes away. So this is the home. It's gonna be three Buckingham Place at an asking price of two fourteen. Okay. So it's definitely an investor property, a fixer upper. The windows are older on this um, home, so they're uh, single pane. The roof looks like it's in very good condition now. As you can see, let me get a little closer. It is fully fenced, but the fence has um, broken in certain parts. So that's the easy repair there. This is right in the front of the house. Some of the fascia and uh, soffits are damaged. This is the front door, so as we enter, super open, terrazzo flooring, you got to have your coat closet right on the left hand side. A nice terrazzo floors are absolutely beautiful once they're cleaned and buffed out. There's some staining on the roof. I'm not quite sure. The roof looks newer, but there's definitely some staining. Okay. You have a double slider. So this would be a living room area. And your dining setup right out here. So it's it is a, not a lot of space here. A hundred percent. And if we come out here to the slider, there's um, some breaking and some cracking of the cement around the pool. There's definitely more cracking here. Oh, if you, when I'm stepping, I don't know if you can hear that. But yeah, compared to, let me go to another spot. You hear that? That's like, that's fine. It's in here. Okay. It was screened in, but it's gonna need a complete new uh, rescreen. And doors. They've made a little fence. It's broken, but there was a little fence uh, around the pool equipment. And they tried to cover it with uh, some nice uh, aluminum roof end. You have more than enough space to, if you wanted some toys. If you had a boat too, like the neighbor, you could totally do that. You have a working shed. There's 
doesn't look like any electricity goes to this. Okay. But there's a nice little working shed here on a nice slab. You will probably have to do the fence over again. Like I said, I know it's fenced out, but you have also an additional shed on the other side. And you can kind of see some of the damage here. That shed could be probably thrown away. It's an old shed or keep some, looks like just a riding lawnmower was in there. You definitely have tons of space here. Probably clear this out. You got a lot of, um, a lot of foliage over here. You got two riding lawnmowers in that corner, but that kind of gives you, oh, the full cactus setup looks like, okay. And as we enter back in, the shed on the other side too that we just left from, that one has some damage as well at the bottom. As you can see, some of that damage at the bottom here. But if need be, you can always repair or replace that. So as we come back in, back to the pool area there's definite deep cracking the amount of algae and seaweed and everything else in this pool obviously has not been touched in a very very long time see it close up It is literally um, stuck right to the to the side. Okay. So as you can see, there's a ton of cracking. That's always, you know, obviously this pool would have to be completely gutted and redone again. Um, not a normal uh, resurface would do with this because of the amount of cracking and breaking and seaweed algae and whatever else could potentially be in that pool. Um, right now it's just extremely still water and the amount of algae has literally festered on the pool. So that's something to think about. And plus uh, the intense amount of cracking to that pool definitely definitely um can't confirm because i'm i'm no specialist but that could pretty much probably have leaks all throughout i mean it's 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 in there it's pretty uh pretty intense there you do have an enclosed little area in the back which is super cute i do like that and put a nice little TV out here as someone must have done. Okay, and as we go back in, it's a nice amount of space, but I'm gonna come right back in where that dining room is. None of the lights unfortunately work. Thank goodness it's daytime. If you come from the living room to the left side, you're gonna have your linen closet going down. I tried the other work light. Let's see, nope. Okay, so you have your shower, bathroom, one, one sink, but you do have um, a little vanity area. The 
looks like some intense staining from the tub. You can definitely uh, take that out. They have a little bit of towel going up. Right across from the bathroom, it's gonna be a first bedroom. This is a smaller bedroom. Twin, I wouldn't do anything bigger than a twin in this one. If you're gonna have any kind of like dresser or anything of that nature, okay? Decent sized closet. It goes all the way up. Got some things up there. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go down. Another linen closet here. So now we have enough closet space. We're gonna go down again. Bedroom number two. Nice size. You could do a full, easy in here, a queen, easy. Okay, nice setup there. And then come back out. This is gonna be a master. Nice amount of room. Super open. You can put the TV down that way. Probably have to replace the door. The door's off this room. It does have a walk-in closet in this property. Attic access as well. And then this bathroom is decent here. So you have decent bathroom here. Towel up, stand in shower. Nice little bit of natural light that'll hit. And then you have uh, your carport. You're able to see the carport from the master bedroom. And if we come right on out here, You have your HVAC setup, your washer and dryer. I'm not sure how your washer and dryer setup will be right over here. Okay, love that. And a nice open kitchen. Open kitchen, you can play around with this. You can do many, many things with it. It does have a broken window, something to Notice in here. But you could totally revamp this whole kitchen. It's pretty open. Okay. And if you come out of the kitchen way, right here, you have another whole, this used to be like the garages area because you have the electrical panel out here, but you have a lot of outlets, tons of space. This looks like a very old, um, outdated panel, but that's something that's kind of covered out. As you can see, older, outdated panel. This is an extension of the house that comes directly off the carport, okay? And this has, you can come in from this, this has another little storage area. You can come in from this way, or you can come in from the main door. And this is where the double doors were that went to that little um, outside area, close to the pool, okay? So there's many little, little tidbits. I mean, the space is nice, but it's definitely um, a lot of work. A lot of work you're going to have to put in. Let me know what you think. All right. You have a great day.